And now, a can't-miss moment from the Charlie James Show. This is something that they have pushed just down everyone's throat, that you must, that it's safe and effective, you got to do it, and didn't tell people about potential risks or didn't even study about some of the potential mm-hmm. risks. And I think that was the craziest part. The, the point was that we just want to make sure we don't make mistakes. We want to look at what happened with COVID, look at what went wrong, look at what went right, and be prepared for future pandemics and make sure that our laws are really up to date and current and make, making sure that we're not, we don't have loopholes where the government, whether it's DHEC or the governor or the legislature can come in and just steamroll over people's you know, rights and freedoms. Like we saw with the yes. shutdowns, with the mandates, and they, there was a lot of talk about the problems in schools and a lot of, you know, talks about all sorts of things. But that was the real moment where, I mean, just everybody that was in the room, I think their jaw kind of hit the floor. Cause sure. This is a cancer research scientist telling us, I hope that we can, st- that you will get people to study and look into this, people that have had the vaccine and make sure that this DNA strand is not, you know, basically attached to their genome and going to be creating this serious issues for the all the population that had it you know that that had the vaccination which is i don't even know how large the, the, the number is but right. it, it just it just was shocking and i think everybody was scandalized i don't even know what the right word was but it, so what we're doing is we've now told dhec like please get this guy the ability to research this and find out because he sent this to cdc they didn't even answer him wow after he did this oh yeah i mean this is the kind of craziness when you look at this covid you know stuff from day one with the fact fast tracking of the um of the vaccination there's a man who testified about the process they do with vaccinations and how a lot of times they really don't do uh, the full extent of uh, that they should for some of these vaccinations that they allow on the market and so they fast tracked the the covid one anyway and then here they are telling everybody over and over again, it's safe and effective. And people are saying, I'm having these weird, you know, issues after I had it. No, 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 it can't cause that. Right. And there was a video. I, I would actually just encourage, because now I'm just telling you everything that happened. I would encourage people to go on and watch the hearing. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, don't take my word for it. Go, he, he played video of some of the lead, uh, you know, scientists in the U.S. who are, uh, immunization specialists, the ones who did the research for the vaccine, and they say, oh, yes, these are safe and effective. And they say, oh, so you have some research. Uh, and, and basically they say, well, no, but you can say it absolutely doesn't you know, cause these issues. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so what? So they, ha, what, they don't what, follow the science. <laughs> where, where did we fail in, in, with, with, with the last pandemic here in South Carolina? Well, it, so, so many ways. I, I, I think first, that, and they, they highlighted some of the successes that uh, we as a state with DHEC, they they did not adopt all of the stuff that the CDC was pushing because the mm-hmm. CDC was kind of going nuts saying, keep all the kids out of school, make them all mask, you know, you know, do all the quarantines, all the and, and they, we started, which in hindsight, everyone can say, yeah, that was that really had uh, bad impacts on the sure. kids in schools. And so that's uh, kind of everybody recognizes that. Thankfully, DHEC kind of got uh, became aware of that and went their own way faster than other states. But what we've learned from that is, like, let's make sure that we have you know, evidence and we're making good decision making when it's something that's going to mass impact all the kids in school. And, and it, even if CDC is pushing something, I want DHEC to make their own determination yeah, yeah. And, and figure out what's right for South Carolina. Like, quite frankly, I really don't care what DHEC wants us to do. I mean, thank you for the recommendations, but we will make our own judgment calls yeah. on this. Yeah, And that was what we really communicated to DHEC, but we want to actually change the laws in South Carolina to remove some of the discretionary power DHEC has. So the, if you're going to add a new vaccination requirement for kids in school, or you're going to you know, do some of the powers that DHEC has right now, it should go through the legislature. The legislature should deal with emergency powers, not just you know one person or an agency uh, th- that way, the, when the people, if they want to ha- have a voice in it, 
they can go to elected official who's up for re-election in a year or two. Yeah, and exactly. not just some random government bureaucracy that can run them up. You're as exactly long right. As we you know claim that it's an emergency. So we have multiple proposals uh, that you know, different legislators have filed or that we want to file, um, and a lot of those were kind of highlighted um, throughout the um, throughout the whole uh, committee hearing. And I think that I know that it was a House and Senate joint hearing. And uh, it was all Republicans, and because we're, the Republicans are really taking this seriously in both houses, uh, both chambers, we we want to get this right so that we don't have issues. Because I, I I just know we all know it's going to happen again. This exact thing is going to happen again, where there's a, a pandemic, and we've all got to respond, and everybody. And I want South Carolina to actually be prepared and ready this time and know what they can and can't do, who is delegated to do what, and and make sure that people's medical freedom, their their kids' educational freedom, that those things are preserved and protected, that businesses can't just be shut down, you know, on a whim. Like, we need to make sure that we learn from this, this probably one of the biggest violations of constitutional rights sure. in American history. Absolutely. We've learned from this, and we don't make the same mistakes again. We, it will never happen again. Exactly right. Representative Adam Morgan, always a pleasure to talk to you, sir. We'll talk again soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, Charlie. Take care. Don't miss the Charlie James Show. Weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D. The voice of the Carolinas.